Will we have the origin story of Proxima Caesar? More than a month after the release of the film Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, the movie's box office success has ensured a sequel. Now we can start thinking about what might happen in the sequel. Especially now that it has been revealed that there are more intelligent humans in the world and that the apes will have to go to war again. In this video, we'll be talking about how Proximus Caesar could return in the next Planet of the Apes movie. And it could be a movie that talks about his origin. And for more videos from the Planet of the Apes universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Before we continue with this video, I invite you to participate in our new House of the Dragon giveaway, in which we are offering a Funko Pop of one of the characters from the House of the Dragon. To participate, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel and comment on who is your favorite character from House of the Dragon and why. The winner will be announced on June 30th. To understand how Proximus Caesar will return to the story, we must start at the beginning to know what his origin, purpose, and goal was. Proximus Caesar is an extremely intelligent and evolved bonobo. According to the story, no one has studied humanity as thoroughly as he has. Proximus even had his own mentor, a brilliant human named Trevithan. Proximus learned about human history, from the Roman Empire to the age of Caesar. He was fascinated with humanity's achievements, but he understood that it was time for the apes. Proximus knew that it had taken mankind centuries to reach the pinnacle of evolution, both socially and technologically. Therefore, he needed something that would allow the apes to transcend and build a new empire. When we first see Proximus Caesar, he is trying to open the doors of an ancient bunker that might contain human technology. Proximus believed that having access to that place would give the apes an automatic evolutionary improvement. He didn't care how many apes he had to sacrifice because he needed access to that bunker. For Proximus, the end justifies the means, and if the end is the survival of the apes, any sacrifice would be valid. However, although the story presents him as the villain, his urge to open the bunker was born because of Trevithan. According to Proximus Caesar, the existence of humans capable of speech threatened the apes. If intelligent humans managed to gain access to that place before the apes did, it would be the end of them, or at least that's what Proximus believed. The fact that Proximus saw other humans talking and the fact that he learned so much about humanity filled him with both admiration and fear of them. As he studied the history of mankind, Proximus Caesar experienced a mixture of admiration and fear. He deeply admired the achievements of humans, from the creation of advanced civilizations such as the Roman Empire, to the impressive technological and scientific advances that defined different eras. These achievements were a testament to the human ability to innovate, adapt and overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges. Proximus saw in humans a spark of ingenuity and creativity that inspired awe and respect. However, along with this admiration came a deep fear. The same ability that allowed humans to reach great heights also made them dangerous. History was full of examples of how mankind had used its ingenuity, not only for progress, but also for destruction. Wars, conquests, and conflicts showed a dark side of human nature. Proximus understood that humans' ability to innovate and adapt could be turned against the apes if they failed to prepare adequately. Proximus's fear was not unfounded. He knew that humans, when threatened, could be ruthless. History was replete with tales of devastating wars and genocides, where human technology and strategies were used to annihilate enemies. Proximus feared that if humans saw apes as a threat, they might resort to these same tactics. This fear was a powerful motivator for him, driving him to seek ways to strengthen his species and protect it against possible attacks. Proximus then begins to conquer and assimilate other clans in a quest to create an empire before humans can retake what was once theirs. Proximus is a visionary who recognized danger when he saw his intelligent teacher. Proximus sees what Noah failed to see in May. He sees the danger of humanity. But this is something Noah already realized, and as we mentioned in previous videos, it's a factor by which we know that Proximus Caesar was right. 
Now at the end of the movie, we saw Noah's clan take Proximus's life, throwing him off a cliff after attacking him with an eagle. This could be considered the end of any character's story. But after the end credits of the film, we hear the grunting of an ape. Some people think it's Raka, others think it's Proximus. In my opinion, as I mentioned before, I think it's both. I think Raka and Proximus survived. But then, how will Proximus Caesar return? I think the next movie will start with Proximus Caesar crawling in the sand and being found by his men. It is possible that Proximus Caesar will be severely injured from the fall, as well as bearing scars on his face from the eagle attack. By now, Proximus knows that there are two types of enemies. The Eagle Clan, with Noah as their leader, and possibly a new group of humans. It is possible that in the next film, Proximus will not be the villain because he is still regaining his strength. Perhaps he will spend some time apart, while he recovers his health, and then return to fight Noah. I think the story of Proximus and Noah is not yet concluded. It is possible that in the next movie, Noah will realize that many of the things Proximus was telling him were true, and that he may have to join forces with this antagonist to defend the apes. Perhaps the humans will become such a threat that Noah must join forces with Proximus Caesar. Many of you have asked about what will happen with the story of Cornelius, Caesar's son. In one of our previous videos, we theorized what might have happened during the 300 years in between the movies. But so far, we don't know if we will have more stories from this era. Either a comic book or a book explaining what happened to Caesar's son. I believe that at any moment, a sequel to Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes will be announced. And we will be here to create new theories about the next movie. Because this is just the beginning. Proximus Caesar established himself as one of the best villains in the Planet of the Apes universe. And we definitely want to know more about this character. But if he is truly dead and won't return in the future, we could still have a new movie that could show us the origin of this character. How he became a tyrannical emperor and how he created his empire. It could even be an animated movie or a comic book as has happened before in this universe. There are still many stories to be told about Proximus Caesar. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Will we see this character again? Or do you think his story concluded in a satisfactory way? And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek.